we have all the red robots moving forward with 1891 trying to balance on that charging station. They are docked and engaged. Taters cleaning up that last cone on the field is blue going for cube number three. Red comes out with a nine point lead at the beginning of the teleoperated period. A little bit of a collision on the blue alliance between 4175 and Peninsula Robotics. Okay, here we go. Taters carefully placing a cone onto their grid as Peninsula and the Millennium Falcons do the same for blue, trying to make those links as quickly as they can. There is some defense from the coded summit machine and Taters there on the field. We have seen them playing some crazy defense here. Red Alliance, you will notice, is opting to have all three of their robots in action on the field rather than submitting one to play defense. Taters grabbing a cube that was dropped on the other end of the field, stopping a couple of blue opponents in their way. Taters running back over, trying to stay out of those protected zones. 4175 keeping a close eye on that defense. Over on the blue side, 6036, that is cone number six in the top row. Red Alliance is ahead, 91 to 80, but that is a tight game with a minute left. 4175's defense is tough. 114 Eagle Strike going for that cone. There are three links in a row on the upper row for Red. Blue getting that last cube delivered. 1891 taking the cone over to the red side. Red Alliance still ahead, but just by one point after that delivery, two points from Blue. Blue has four links. Red trying to complete one more. That is your 30 second warning. 30 seconds left in the match. Four point lead from the number one Alliance. Those end game balances are going to count. Get that charging station docked and engaged. Red Alliance is making the run for a triple, bringing those Bulbots on, trying to balance. We have three up in blue, three in red. Who's going to win this? We see a 10-point advantage. 10 points, but the final score, well, it's tied. The final score we will get from our referee.